channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for subscribing and tuning in to another video. So today we are going to find another way to get rid of to-dos. If you're a returning subscriber, you may have seen my videos of cleaning out my to-dos where I basically sit down and kind of go through patterns so you guys can see, I can see, and we pick what stays and what goes. But I thought, you know, there's only so much weeding out you can do. At a certain point, you just gotta knot the bracelets. So this I thought would be a really fun project. And that is a random number generator chooses my to-do. So let's take a step back for a moment. If you are new here and you're like, who the heck are you? Um, my name is Meg. I am Margaron on Bracelet Book. I am a moderator over there. I've been on there for about nine and a half years. And if we scroll down my profile here, we can see that I have 1,409 to-dos, which is to say I basically have more to-dos than will ever be to done. So I figured we would do this because it could be super fun. Now, some of you have had a look in my to-dos. If you ever are, if you're ever looking for a pattern, I got the curated space for you. But there's a really, really large range of patterns here. I got some really, really small basic ones. I've got some large chunky bracelets. I've got normals. I've got alphas. I've got wall hanging pieces. I've got pieces that would be good as bookmarks. There is a huge range of things in here. So what I thought would be super fun about this is to make this a series and not everything it lands on will necessarily be a bracelet. Like I do a lot of crafts and so sometimes there's things I save that would be a good pattern to use for a different craft. So I thought it would be fun to do this. Um, basically, I'm gonna do whatever number, like I'm gonna count into my to-dos and whatever number it lands on is going to be what I make. Okay, so essentially how I want to work this is I'm going to pull up a, a random number generator as I have here and I'm going to say my minimum is one and my maximum is 1,409, which is the number of to-dos I have in my um, to-dos list on bracelet book. So there's a lot of things in here and I'm kind of nervous that we're going to end up on something really, really huge in this first video. And I've already got a really big project on, I've got a couple of really big projects on the go. So I'm hoping for something that's not too, too massive. Fingers crossed. Like I want something, I want like a, maybe a medium sized wall hanging, like something like this that is kind of what I'm feeling right now. So hopefully that's what we get. Let's go ahead. Um, let's say, let's hit the generate button five times and go with whatever shows up on the fifth time. Now your to do's aren't numbered. So if you do want to try this, I have counted in every single page of your to do's should have 30 patterns on it. Watch it come up with like one and I don't even have to have that knowledge in my head, but here we go. Okay. So one, two, three, four, this is it, five, 495. All right, so it should be about halfway down page 17, I think. Oh, it's making me so nervous because these top ones are all coming up like really big patterns. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous, what did we pull up? I am so nervous, this was a bad idea. Okay, so that's page 16, so... We need to count in 15, 15 patterns on page 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Look at the color changes on this. Oh my gosh. Has anyone made this? Someone did. There's one photo on this and they just did the pattern. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. 
what are the dimensions on this pattern? This actually isn't a super big pattern. 33 by 39. Do I want to just make a small wall hanging with this or do I want to, I almost want to double it and like make it a coin pouch or something. Let me think on this and we will figure out what we are going to make in a wee bit. Okay, so here is what I decided and I'm kind of, I've decided I'm going to do a coin pouch. Now, when it came to this pattern, my knee jerk instinct was, there was a couple things. Firstly, I was like, this would look really good with a blue. But secondly, there was something nagging at me that this looks like a very traditional pattern. So I looked at the keywords and right away I see Ukraine. So I did a little googly Google and found you of just Ukrainian patterns. And sure enough, a ton of patterns came up with a very, very similar look. Like our pattern kind of looks like a simplified version of like this. And the other thing I noticed was that a lot of these patterns that did come up are quite heavily um, black, white, and red. So I've got some white, some black, and just some red here. I am going to do a coin purse. So I am going to, um, move away from the computer screen here, switch views a little bit, and uh, we'll start working on this project. I'm pretty excited because I feel like I wouldn't have picked this out um, on my own. And it seems like only one person has done it. This is going to be time consuming because there is a lot of color changes here. A lot of them. And I'm not sure at this point in time if I want to attempt flat alpha color changes or if I just want to go for normal color changes. Sorry, I keep looking over here because I'm looking at my computer screen at the picture that's done here by 34 jewels and um, the pattern and I'm just, it's a lot. It's only three colors, but it's a lot. So I am going to, I guess, hop on this and we'll see how it goes. this entire line of really quick color changes and I'm now realizing that I done goofed it up. <laughs> um, right here, I'm gonna have to go back all the way to here because instead of going to red, I should have done another two knots of black and then gone white and then gone red again. So now I have to undo this as well as all of this to get back to the proper pattern. So we're doing great so far. Yay.
Okay, so I took a break from doing like the time lapse um, just because we don't need like 20 minutes of time lapse in a video. So I've created the main center part of this pattern now and now I'm getting into um, the portion like it's symmetrical, right? So at this point I'm entering into this alternating row here is the next row I'll be completing and then two solid rows and then into this massive color change nightmare and uh, I'll give full final thoughts on this pattern when I'm done, but right now, like I think the actual pattern design is beautiful, is beautiful, I think it's lovely, but I'm not happy with how I knotted this. I don't know if I would have been happier had I have done it with a normal color change. I find if I don't really, really take my time with the flat alpha color change, it just, the knots don't come out as straight and even for me as they do in like with normal color changes and it drives me nuts and like from the distance of the camera like you guys can see it a bit but I don't think you get the full effect of it because um, I actually taped my project a little too far over this way my camera is actually more like here and I've got it kind of angled so you don't get the full effect but it is kind of tapering in here yeah i don't know how this is gonna turn out i think it's gonna be a little too narrow to be like a card pouch so i think ideally what i would have done would have been kept one of these edge strings a little bit longer and then i could have maybe done a loop here and like sewed a button on in along the edge but i didn't cut my base strings long enough to really do that and still have enough to comfortably knot everything. So anyways, we'll get into kind of what I really, really like and what I don't like about this pattern when I'm completely done. I just want to update you guys with where we were on it. the entirety of the pattern that I'm going to make here. Now we're going to pull it up and attach it all together. And it's been like weeks. I actually went on like a week long vacation and struggled to find time to actually film this. And on top of that, um, had some health stuff going on. So just been a long time since I've been able to sit down and work on this or really anything. I haven't really knotted anything. This will be the first project that I've knotted of August and it's already like halfway through August. It's literally, I'm recording this section on the 14th of August and I started this before I went on vacation, like a few days before I went on vacation, which I left for a week on the 28th. Okay, so here we are. This is like the finished pattern. Well, technically it's like duplicated and I'm not sure if it's, well, this has been sitting taped to the table for like a month at this point. So that could be part of it. Um, I'm sure this will loosen up a bit, but you guys can kind of see um, that it is a little bit narrower down this end and that it's for a couple reasons because generally my first couple rows when I'm going along tape I don't pull as hard because I don't want to pull it right out of the tape and then also um because I sat down to work on this like multiple weeks with days apart and everything um just my gauge changed and stuff we can see it started to come out a little bit wider here because it was like I did this the first week 
and then this the second week, then went away for a week, then came back into like this chunk, and then came back to it like days later to do that chunk. So I'm hoping this all ties together okay. I'm seeing if I can, my weak little noodle arms can just maybe pull this a little bit looser, but the answer is no. <laughs> um, I think I did like a little bit. Okay. So that's what the back looks like. It actually looks really cool. I really like how it looks in here. I like that. And there's a hair stuck under the loops there, but I really like how it looks in here. I think it looks really cool. All right. So now we are going to join some seams, I guess. And yeah, this is definitely too small for an actual card holder for some context. Do I have like a gift card here or something? So like for some context, this is like a regular credit card size card. And this is like way too small. So I don't know what this is going to be, <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, alternately I could just, I suppose, I don't know what else I could do with it, to be honest. So I think I am going to go forward and do up the seams. Is there something I could do with it if I did it this way instead? Mm, not really, it's not really wide enough to do anything that way either. What I'm going to do for this is I'm going to fold my project with the right sides in. So right sides meaning the good sides. So we have our not good sides out and then I'm just going to literally knot them together. I shouldn't say I've never done this before because I have done knotted two bracelets before. I haven't done this with like a larger project before. Fun fact. So we've done that side. I am going to quickly do the other side here and we'll come back together to turn it back right side out and see what the finished product looks like. sides of this so I'm really nervous about these knots coming undone because this string is very the string that I use for my base string is very floofy and I just feel like the knots aren't as tight but it is what it is so I'm just gonna trim I guess like here maybe okay moment of truth here let's turn this back the proper side out Oof, because I'm not so tight this is like actually not that easy <laughs> and I'm stuck <laughs> honestly at this point right here like looking at it like this it almost looks like a hacky sack there's our little pouch I don't know what I should do with it because like it's too small for a card. Like for reference, like here's a plastic bobbin. So anyways, the pattern is done. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with it. So let's just take a nice and close up look. Flip it over. I should have knotted a little tighter on these seams, I think. But, oh well, that's a learning experience because like I said, I haven't ever done it on a project like this. I have just knotted like two bracelets, but there we go. And 
I mean, let's talk about the pattern for a little bit. I feel like oftentimes a lot of people think like less colors means less difficult, but I did not have much fun knotting this pattern. I'm going to be quite honest. And it's not because the pattern isn't pretty because like it's absolutely, it is pretty. We can, we can see that. Thank you. But just the sheer number of color changes was just so, so much. It's just insane. And I don't know, I'm not particularly happy with how angled the knots look. And I think um, my knots personally tend to look a little more angled when I'm using the flat alpha technique. So I don't know if I'd have done this with a regular uh, color change method, if it would have made any difference or not. But um, it is what it is. I started it with the flat alpha, so I finished it with the flat alpha. I do think it turned out okay. I'm just really not sure what I'm going to do with it. I think honestly what I'm probably Otherwise, I think it was a very cool pattern. You definitely need some patience because of the amount, just the sheer amount of color changes in this. Um, it's a lot, but I am glad that I finally got around to it because it probably would have been one that I would have eventually cleared out of my to-dos or just never done. So it's fun that it actually came up and I actually was challenged to do it. And yeah, I think it turned out okay. It's not my favorite project. Honestly, I think I could have done a lot better. I think I've knotted in the flat alpha a lot better. There's a lot of colors peeking through here. So I'm not particularly happy with um, how I knotted it. Like personally, it still turned out really cute. So that is that guys. That is the first episode of the random number generator. Chooses my to do's. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, bye bye.